Welcome back everyone. Now we have established our colony and we can try to start our effort to actually colonize additional island. So to do that we will need some steel and let's just try to get those resources up by trying to build a mine here. And of course they will be refined to steel and they will need furnace to do it and eventually steel work to produce steel beams. For now, we will just try to get a warehouse okay, to ensure that they're able to send the resources in and we will build a charcoal clean. Apparently, I think we need two to balance out with one iron mine. Now, what we want to do is to ensure that we have a good uh, amount of resources to upgrade our warehouses so apparently we have enough and we shall do that now what we could do is to explore some of the islands okay and look at the resources we certainly need hops and red pepper fertility as we don't have that in our original island okay this is also having hops and and red pepper fertility unfortunately i think this is a bit too small so i think this is one of the most uh, compelling island let's just try to colonize that island as soon as possible before other competitor does so what we could do what we think let's just try to upgrade and bring as much workers as possible in order to assist with our effort to colonize that island we will need some steel beams and timber to do it so let's just try to get those resources as soon as possible now the material has been collected and we should be able to create our furnace soon we can place it here and after that our steel works building to produce the steel beam required so now the furnace will collect resources from the warehouses as you, as you can see and of course uh, they will try to ensure that a good efficient uh, flow of materials so that the production of iron bars are not stopped another option that we can explore is to actually buy those resources from the archibald so Archibald actually sells steel beams and timber and of course bricks. What we could do now, instead of waiting for our resources to be manufactured, we can try to purchase for Archibald and straight ahead colonize the island as soon as possible. So let's just try to do that now. Waiting for the ship to come. Enjoying the scenic view of this particular game and we will buy all the material and sail directly to this island. You can see the view of our town looking more and more lively and now we have unlocked police station, production of beer that will be will require hop which is we don't have here on this particular island and we would need a few more workers to come in to unlock school maybe we could start lay, lay out our other facilities such as the church the police station somewhere in the future and try to resolve issues like this we have enormous amount of transporters waiting for the warehouse to unload their goods now we have enough resources to build our steelworks and production of steel beam underway you can see the we have a deficit of workers hence we should upgrade some of the farmer's house to workers house while you upgrade the farmer's 
residents into workers' residents, we have to ensure that we replace the farmers' residents because they also have some application in a particular production building. Now, our ship are on its way and we are almost there. Okay, so you can see the shore that we can actually deploy or establish our port is marked with this sandy beach. Okay, unlike the cliff and rock uh, cliffs, we can't start to establish our port there. So what we would do, we will approach this sandy beach and eventually we'll be prompted with this possible location of a port. So that's how you should uh, choose and select where you're going to build your port to colonize this island. So let's say I choose to be here. You can see we need 2,500 steel and also some timber. Right. We officially colonize this island. Now what we could do is actually to scan our neighboring uh, contacts and of course there is this Calamity Cove which is a cove for the pirates so we need to be aware of that right now we don't have enough facilities so we need to start to build this new colony okay obviously right now we don't have enough uh, timber to build a marketplace so that is going to be problematic of course, if we could come a bit more prepared, we should bring more timber. But it's okay. Our ship are coming back to the main port. And eventually, we will get additional supply of timber. On top of uh, producing steel beams, the production of steel bars actually allow you to produce weapons. Okay, maybe we should think about that since our new colony is very near to the Calamity Cove, which is where the pirates are. So we will just wait for our bricks to reach 10 tons and we can establish our weapon factory. As we wait for the weapon factory to be built, we should uh, review the amount of workers it will be needed. Currently, it needs 50 workers and we already only have 28 surplus workers. So we should upgrade some of the farmers resident into worker residence. And as I mentioned, we should build more farmers resident as well as we upgrade. Now our ship has arrived Admiral. to the main point. And I think we should bring some supplies. Maybe we can bring 50 snaps, fish, and of course some timber. Lord, new colony here. So it will be slightly faster. Okay, the improvement of the town will be faster with the support of the main port. Let's just try to uh, upgrade our weapon factory and we will start the producing weapon as soon as possible in 1 minute 30 second interval okay let's just try to oversee okay, the uh, new colony and we will see that on each port actually they come with a warehouse and of course a cannon to ensure that there's no invaders it's not that far from this Calamity Cove. It's just right there. So we need to be careful. Let's just try to uh, establish oh, some of the early buildings. Okay, that is crucial for our co new colony. Let's just uh, establish a lumberjack hut. Mm -hmm. And then we can have some, a uh, couple of sawmills. Okay, But of course, we don't have farmers to actually work on them. Okay, we will build the houses after this with the uh, timber that we bring from the main, main island. Okay. We will try to improve uh, our uh, workers' need. Okay. And basically, we can upgrade them to artisans okay so the production of bread is not going well because we don't have bakery now let's just try to deploy one bakery Maybe somewhere here maybe we need an additional uh, warehouse as well 
because the demand has clogged up this one and it's not good it's reduce the efficiency of our production cycle in order to help you can add additional okay, grain farm we will need a couple ton of timber to build the warehouse we will get them soon now the warehouse will support this warehouse that is already overburdened transporters around it so it's going to be a busy uh, production uh, side of the city which revolve around food and the other side of town is sort of like an industrial town which revolve around heavy metals mines and ores so you can see yeah, they have two different vibe now when you have this intense activity going on there will be a large exposure to fire risk so we need to preempt and try to navigate those problems by having an additional fire station here to service this area in case of any fire outbreak our ship is getting closer to the new island and hopefully with this additional supply of timber we'll get this particular colony running okay obviously we need to find a good place okay to start our town and we will have to establish our market first so i would say let's just try to do it here okay let's just earmark that particular area and then connect the road and we will build houses around them Now, the Back ship has arrived, let's unload, okay, and basically we can send it off to a quest or something it's while waiting. To make something of yourself, there I is see. an escort quest, let's just take one of them and try to somehow accomplish right. the task given, okay. Meanwhile, we have the opportunity to grow this, this, this new island colony, let's just try to do that, establish some farm farmer residents okay and they can start to work on the timber production now we are waiting right, for the farmer please. residents to come to be filled up okay some of them start coming in already which is good there aren't enough of us. okay we can zone more for future expansion an explosion in one of your factories right so you can see that intense fire activity broke will broke out fire unfortunately on this part of town and fortunately this part of town is covered by this fire station and they're already sending okay a fire Keep fighting unit octopodes fight. off my back and it's coming to address the fire i think there's few slaughter uh slaughter halls this one Snaps the celery is already exploded. Firefighting progressing. Hopefully, we can save this building. Okay, you can see the firefighters in action. Okay, let's just uh, try to be prudent and ensure that we have firefighters covering almost all of our urban areas. Okay. Because in urban area where there is a lot of building or activity uh, ongoing, it is prone to prone to fire. Now, as the escort mission continues, we can see that some of the uh, hostility are coming from uh, a party that want to destroy the escort our escortee. So we will just try to defend. Okay, by attacking them first before they destroy uh, the ship that we are escorting. Our second newspaper, edition 2, I think it's fine. You can see that it's a reduction of happiness. But also there's also news that bring uh, good news, okay? With addition of five happiness of our expansion to a new island. And basically they balance out each other, so it's fine. Then just publish. Mm -hmm. There is some ruins due to the fire, so the firefighter did their work, and we should try to renovate them 
back to their former glory. Okay. Managed to do that. The production has begun and we did have some timber, okay, which is good. Now what we need to do is to have additional lumberjack hut in order for us to produce more, uh, more timber and eventually upgrade other buildings in this particular island. Establishing more houses so that the town can grow. Okay, we have the opportunity to do some pre-zoning so that we can lay out our town well ahead. We're going to follow this very stringent 2 by 3 grid. And maybe we can have some facilities to support. For example, this fire station. And now in the main town, we can start to maybe upgrade our warehouse. Oh, it will need more, more bricks. We should look at our workers' condition and as of now, they have ample bread supply and of course, we just unlock school and they are also in need of soap. Maybe we can try to establish some soap production line. At first, since we still have a quest to build a trade union, we might able to get some brownie and by having one Right, we get additional money from our escort quest. We also get additional money for establishing our trade union. That is all good. Now, beside Archibald, okay, Eli also produced these two resources and also trade in some other resources, such as soap and potato. So, it's something that we can you know, pay attention to later on if we have additional soap or surplus of soap we can sell to him. Akibal has a quest to deliver 29 tons okay, of bricks. So let's just try to achieve that by adding additional okay, clay pit and also brick factory. Keep that going so we can fulfill that quest. Now, since we have established our trade union, we can use our item that we got early in the game, Soap Maker, which improves pig farm, rendering works, and soap factory. So you can see affected buildings, such as these two pig farm, will be highlighted, okay? And the percentage of efficiency will slowly increase to 20 additional percent. So, in order to build, uh, have a soap production line, we can see the ratio will be 1 minute, 1 minute, and 30 seconds. So, it should be 2 pig farm, 2 rendering works, and 1 soap factory. So, let's just have them laid out. Okay, we should start to have 2 additional pig farms. Okay, 1. Number two. Okay. And then two rendering works building. We can have additional warehouse, I think, to support our new operation. Okay, you can see our pigs, pig farm is performing higher than 100% and slowly increasing, okay, to the additional 20%. Now, let's just focus on our new town, okay. We should be able to upgrade some of them into worker residence soon if we focus on producing clothes and of course fish okay they just have one warehouse there 
Okay, let's just produce knitters. Okay, and we can slowly proceed. Now, we can add additional sheep farm, but we also must ensure that we have enough workers. Okay, in this particular case, farmer residence. So let's just establish more farmer residences. So hopefully, we are able to cater pen manpower needed for that particular activities. Okay, we should also build a pub to improve revenue collection. We can build more houses as we expand the town. This new town will provide different subsets of material and of course resources that will complement our first and main colony. Okay. What we should do now is put our focus on colonizing smaller islands so that we have larger imperial footprint in order to gain some real estate and control of this whole map okay that will put us in the driving seat trying to dominate other colonizers before they establish their colonies okay so we can review some of our neighboring islands you can see some of them is huge some of them quite small i think this is another good sized island that we should try to establish a colony so we will try to do that for now let's just try to establish this colony as a thriving and sustainable one okay as you can see we are starting to provide working clothes okay and eventually we will have the prerequisite to upgrade to worker residences now we just going to buy some resources for Archibald in order to co colonize additional island that we have targeted just now. So let's just try to go ahead. Okay, we have the resources. I bought 61 timber, 61 tan timber and steel beam. Let's just try to get the new island established here. Okay, this town is looking good and you know, some of the houses are able to be upgraded to worker residences. It's good. Excellent. So this town is progressing really, really fast. Okay, and it should continue like that. While the main island also should focusing on establishing more facilities such as a church. Okay. Now we have a church, which is good, providing extra service to the worker residences. And the next step we should provide schools in order for the worker residents to be upgraded to artisans. Okay, let's just put the school here. Okay, we have to wait for 25 tons of bricks, then we will have our school. So it's running really well. While we have additional timber, we should continuously upgrade our farmers' residents to worker residents so more people will get the benefit of the new facilities. Okay, Continuous upgrading will ensure that your town can grow. Basically, trying to bring as much people as possible to this particular colony to establish good stream of revenue and basically try to ensure that we have a good backing for us to expand to other islands. So this town will play a pivotal role in providing support and also, of course, resources to smaller colonies on the map. Since we have uh, this second colony is fairly near to a, to a pirate cove, okay, we should consider building some defense, okay, either in cannon tower or in a form of mounted guns. So you can see that we will need some weapons, okay, and I think we are producing a good number of weapons in the main colony okay we have 24 weapons okay with that being said this could be better utilized in the second island where we have more apparent threats okay in order to defend our new colony we should build defensive building okay in order to ensure hostile boats that come through will be dealt with we are approaching our second island and hopefully soon 
we were able to establish our third colony. So as I mentioned previously, we should look for this sandy beach, okay, where we could establish our port. You can see the flagship is approaching. The flagship will approach this particular beach head. Okay, I would prefer the ports to be in front, so it's easier for us to uh, get things transferred from one colony to the next. So, it's already established. Our third colony is established. Now, we should quickly deploy our town in order to kickstart the colony. We we'll always kickstart again with a market. Okay, maybe at this particular location. Okay, after, after a few rows of houses, you can have that. And a market. So this is going to be our base. And we should provide some production of timber. Okay. A warehouse to support those uh, resources collection. Okay, and two sawmills. Okay, connecting all the lumberjack hut. Now, the process of timber can proceed. We can add couple of fisheries to support food need. Now, we, we will load our ship with weaponry. Okay, let's just load 20 of them. Okay, just give a round number and transport to our second colony for us to establish some defensive towers. Okay, maybe a cannon tower and maybe a mounted gun. Maybe we need to bring some bricks as well, I think. At least another three ton of bricks. So let's just try to do that, bring some bricks as well. Because apparently the second island don't have a independent brick production. So let's just try to do that. Okay. We have ample resources. To build more houses. Let's do that. Increasing our population is good. It improves our influence point collection and also it improves our monetary uh, tax collection. Okay, now we already starting to have our police station. Okay, established in the town center. So we can somehow circumvent any riots that might or might not happen. Okay. It is better to be prepared. Now, you can see that we have established our colony in three islands and we should try to uh, allocate our time with, among these three islands and manage them to be sustainable and independent. So you don't have to go back to them after they have a sustainable production. So we just have to ensure that they have enough workers Okay, and then they are producing certain resources that your main island need and the collective of these colonies can eventually grow your whole empire. Okay, that's the whole premise of the game. Basically right now you have this colony in this particular map but eventually okay, your colony will be venturing out uh, to another map. So let's just try to get this colony straight up. So, our ship is approaching our port and we should deposit the bricks and weapon, okay? And now we have ample resources, okay? To establish our cannon tower and of course mounted gun. We can see the orientation and you can see the zone where they allow deploy the tower. So you can see at the back uh, around you can see there is also some sandy area here which allow you to put your turret or cannon and of course 
uh, in this particular area is one of the nearest area that flanking the island. So you can see the, sh the, the ship is cruising by. We actually can address that. You can see the range, okay? You can have that one here. And maybe we can have one mounted guns, okay? To complement the cannon. Okay, so they will require some time to actually establish and be operational. Now, here we are still waiting for our brakes to reach 25 ton threshold in order for us to build our school. Okay, right now we have our bricks to build the school. Let's do that. And now our workers will start to have their school needs filling up. Unfortunately, our bread production has fallen behind. So we need to improve our bread production by adding additional bakery. Okay, in order to ensure that we can upgrade to artisans uh, residence. Okay, let's just see. We can do that. We need additional four tons of brick. Let's wait for that. Now our turret is actually working and you can see a potential uh, hostile ship. And this is the range of the turret. So you can see the pink radius. Okay. If the hostile ship encroach this radius, the cannon will start firing. They're still within the safe distance, so they are not bothering us. In our main town, we will improve production of bread by having additional bakery. And we wait for the bread uh, consumption need will, uh, to be fulfilled. And eventually we have the opportunity to upgrade to artisans. We can start to produce some working clothes okay it's going to be used by worker and also farmer and upgrade more farmers residents so that we have enough workforce so I think that's it. I think in the next episode, we'll try to build some ships, okay, and try to take on a uh, more adventurous uh, island. Okay, for now, we have established our first colony, our second colony on, the, on a new island, and our third colony. And we should be able to get some level of symbiotic relationship between these three colonies to actually propel our empire together. I think that is all for this episode. See you on the next one. Take care.